One of the unique things that we have discovered as we take the 765 around to various railroads is that the modern day railroader doesn't really have an understanding of the power of a steam locomotive. And couple that with the fact that every division we've ever gone to everywhere has the hill. Every division has a hill somewhere that's called the ruling grade. It's the steepest hill on that piece of the railroad. And it's a daily operating obstacle for the railroad run and heavy freight trains. We ran trips out of Buffalo years ago, going east on the old Erie. And before the trips ran, the road foreman who was going to be riding with us came up to me and said, uh, how's this thing do on hills? I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, we got a hill out there just out of Attica, New York, Attica Hill. And, um, well, we're just concerned. And I said, well, how fast will we be going into the bottom of the hill? And he said, 30. Okay. How steep is the hill? Just over 1%. Okay. How long is the hill? Four miles. Okay. I told him, we'll go over the top of the hill at 30. He didn't want to believe that. So there ain't no way. Well, we came into Attica. We had to slow down to 30 for a speed restriction going through town. So 30 mile an hour was indeed the speed we got into the bottom of the hill. Just as we nosed into the bottom of the hill, I pulled out the throttle a little bit more. And I could see the hill ahead of us, but it didn't look all that formidable. The road foreman came over to me and said, we're just getting into the hill now. You better go after it. I said, okay, all right. Well, maybe, maybe he knows something I don't know. I've never been on this railroad before. So I pulled the throttle out a little bit more and noticed that the speedometer is now showing 31. And he hadn't noticed that we'd picked up speed, but I really wasn't working the engine all that hard yet. Another 30 seconds or so went by and he came over and he was almost angry when he said, I told you this is a tough hill, now you better go after it. All right, okay. I pulled the throttle out even a little bit more. And he went over and sat down behind John Snyder who was firing that day. Well, the speedometer now said 32. And we were accelerating. Suddenly, he realized that. And the road foreman came over, looked at the speedometer, which is now showing 34 on a 30 mile an hour hill. And he said, wow, this thing's pretty strong. I said, I was trying to tell you that back in Buffalo. He said, well, we better get back to 30. So I backed the throttle down a little bit. We settled back to 30. He went back to sit behind John again, lit up a cigar and didn't really care too much about the hill anymore.